outside now over Cadillac Square and you know they always get me at this time of day mm -hmm. right you know it's <laughs> lunchtime and they're showing us the food trucks and you can see folks standing in line to get some good eats there look at that a sushi food truck I can't see all the other ones but I see sushi though, yeah. loud and clear let's check in now with seven first alert meteorologist Mike Taylor Mike we're dry outside right now sunny outside when's it gonna feel good to sit outside and eat lunch you know I think today will be perfect Great. because you could still eat outside when it's 80 and 90, but mm -hmm. yeah, it gets pretty hot. You could even see some of the people waiting for their food on the shaded side oh, okay. <laughs> of, of the, uh, the book, uh, book area or Campus Marshes area, I should say, thinking about the book Cadillac. Uh, we're looking at our temperatures here that are going to be in the 40s and the 50s as far as the dew points. So that's some good news there with the exception of the 60s, 62 degree dew point and the 67 degree dew point Sunday night into Monday. And this spike in the muggy meter right here gives us our next chance of seeing some showers and storms, which we'll talk about in just a moment. 67 for downtown Detroit. Relative humidity of 44%, so it's dry out there. It is sunny out there, so if you can, get outside and enjoy it and have lunch outside. So we're scanning the skies on our visible satellite imagery and not finding much of anything. Just a couple fair weather clouds just to the southwest of Jackson and Adrian, but that's primarily about it. The area of low pressure that's been giving us grief as far as the clouds and the rain and the storms has finally drifted far enough east away from us where now the influence of high pressure is taking over and the drier air mass is going to give us the sunshine. So expect that for the rest of this afternoon. Between now and about 5 o'clock, thinking numbers reach the low 70s. And then looking ahead to this evening, looks pretty good as well for the Tigers game. Temperatures in the 70s, as I mentioned, lots of sun. Should be a nice sunset as well. And it's going to be warmer or milder than it was yesterday. Talking about the morning time. So we'll have temperatures where they belong, closer to the 60s as opposed to the 30s that we started off this morning with. So it was a cool start to say the least. But now we're going to put the cool weather behind us and focus on a summer changeup. There is a marginal risk of severe weather, simply put, meaning that severe weather will be a possibility. This will be on Thursday. Your Thursday morning, some showers and storms will be rolling through. These can produce some heavy rainfall, some vivid lightning, some warm front lifting through. Humidity is going to spike, but your afternoon should be all right. It's going to be your Thursday evening that gives us the best chance of seeing some showers and storms that could flare up. And once again, any of those storms could be on the severe side. Something we'll watch. I think the primary headline is going to be this. The 10 day outlook temperature wise uh, will go up near 88. That'll be on Thursday. We'll cool down behind that cold front through the weekend and look what happens into next week. We're talking about our first heat wave in quite some time, multiple 90 degree days and we're not even factoring in the humidity. If you do that, the heat index could easily be in the upper 90s to near 100. So now's the time. Get the fans and the AC now before the rush, because you know once it's hot, everybody's going to make a run to the store to prepare. Check the filter and your air conditioner as well, and also for the car. Make sure that system is working good. And of course, when the heat gets started, make sure you stay hydrated. Seven day forecast shows how it will be before the heat arrives. 80s and 70s, and it looks like Father's Day will be all right, but it's going to be hot with that humidity. All right, thank you so much for the heads up. Well, FEMA.